Welcome back. Now we need to generate some enemies. So let's create. Let's go to our uh, go to our enemy. Actually, you know what? We'll just go. We'll just do this in player hit object create. Create something called an O spawner. We don't need a sprite, but we do need to remember to add it into the room. And you can't add something to a path layer, so it's got to be to one of these. Oops. All right, we're going to add a create event, and we're just going to say alarm zero equals random range. Remember, that gives us uh, a, any, a random number between two values. And we're going to do room speed times 0.5 and room speed times 3. Room speed automatically is whatever you set your game's frames per second to be. So it's going to be 60. This is automatically going to be 60 times 0.5, so it's going to be 30. And this is room speed times 3, so it's 60 times 3, it's 180. It just, that's the room speed, so this way we just don't have to do the math. It's a little easier. So alarm 0 is going to be random range, room speed times 0.5, and room speed times 0.3. Alarm 1 is going to be random Oops. Range room speed times five and room speed times ten. And then alarm to no. Let's keep this in alarm one. So now we need to create our alarms, right? Alarm zero is going to be instance create layer. X, Y, enemies, O, enemy. And this will create an enemy, and we... It doesn't really matter where we create them, because the enemy is always going to start a path. Normally, we would create it off to the right or something, but... Uh, because the enemies are set to absolutely follow the value of the, the path, we don't need to worry about that. And then we just need to do... Alarm zero. You know what? Let's save some. Expedite this. Let's just copy and paste this. This will reset the alarm to what it was in, at the beginning. And then we need to create alarm one. Go ahead and copy and paste this. We are going to do instance. Whoops. Create layer room width plus 16 because room width is going to be the furthest right part of the room and then plus 16 means it's going to be 16 pixels off to the right of the edge of the room and then room height divided by two so it's going to be dead center instances and then we're going to choose o power up or o spread so it's going to pick one of these two things. Don't forget your closing parentheses. And then it's going to reset the alarm. So now that it is in the room, uh, I did not mean to scale that. Weird. Okay, let's just give it a shot. So this is our first enemy. Anyone? Okay, yeah, see they're kind of flooding the room and then... Now we've got power-ups coming in randomly. And already we're just way too powerful for the enemies. But they follow their paths. And you can see they do what they're supposed to do. We can actually run into enemies. And I can't remember if I really made a lesson about that yet. We'll just go over that real quickly in the next one. Actually, we'll just do it real quick right now because we know that this is all working we've got a couple different power-ups and weapons and stuff so we're looking pretty good just in case i forgot let's go down here this is a collision event with an enemy and then all we did was say hp minus equal one and then instance destroy other so it destroys the enemy and you take one hit point and then down here, I've added hit points in the variables. You got four to start off with. And then down here at the very bottom, 
we add if HP is less than or equal to zero, instance destroy. So we can take four hits before we die. That's one hit, two hit, three hits, and here it goes. Boom. All right, and we're dead. So now there's some risk involved. And that'll be it for this lesson. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next one.